So I was inspired to make this video because of Jarvis Johnson's My CS Degree in 12 Minutes video, which was a video he was inspired to make because of Devin Crawford's three years of computer science in eight minutes video. I don't know why I say that and I'm sorry for wasting your time. By the way, those guys are a lot smarter and cooler than I am, so don't hold me to the same standard. So my two year engineering career in hopefully less than 10 minutes, where can I start? So in high school, I was very bad. I was just really shit in all aspects of life. This haircut and this GPA probably tells you everything you need to know. But one thing it probably doesn't tell you is the fact that I just had gotten my green card in 2010 when I was a sophomore. So a lot of my like unmotivation, is that a word? Came from, I'm not even legal in this country, why should I even care about my education? Whatever, I became legal and now there was no excuses, but I still ended up sucking my sophomore and junior year of high school, so. There's that. So for some reason in 2012 when I was a senior, I ended up in calculus and I ended up kind of liking it and doing pretty good in it, pretty well in it. Damn it, I can't speak English. So in 2012, I was like, dude, I need to do something with my life because as it stands now, I don't think I have a future. All these people are talking about college this, university that, blah, 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 just a bunch of college talk that I was feeling bad about because I wasn't going to get in anywhere with this number. But after a lot of Googling, I knew there was a second chance. And I knew my second chance was a place that people in my hometown call high school part two, community college. Oh, and by the way, for some reason, I decided to study engineering because I did okay in calculus. I didn't know what kind of engineering yet. I just knew that I wanted to study engineering. So now it's fall 2012 and I'm technically a freshman in college and I end up doing really well the whole year. Straight A's, like straight up. And this community college is really cool, man, because they have this program where they place STEM students, or at least they try to place STEM students in internships for the summer. And that summer of 2013, my summer going into sophomore year, I got an internship at the Naval Postgraduate School. I'm saying that name like you know it. The Naval Postgraduate School is basically like a military college for graduate students. And in this internship, I converted an RC car, a really fast RC car, you know, one of those Traxxas crawlers that are really fast, into an autonomous autonomous rover using an Ardu Pilot controller. Some of you may or may not know about Ardu Pilot. They were really popular back in the day. Damn, am I old already? So that was a sick bullet point that I could add to my resume as a freshman in just community college. I thought that was pretty dope. So now it's fall 2013. I'm in my last year of community college and I'm technically a sophomore. I say technically because a lot of people don't take community college seriously. So again, I end up doing really well and trust me, I don't know if it's the classes that were easier or if I just somehow got smarter, but I know for sure my work ethic went way up through the roof. So you know how I did that internship with the autonomous rover? Well, that internship would end up getting me my next job in spring 2014, yeah, 2014, where I was a robotics instructor for seventh through ninth grade kids. And that job was really fun and it was really rewarding. And when I'm saying robotics, I'm not talking about like mechatronics or something fancy. I was basically doing Lego Mindstorm tutorials and it was, you know, it was fun as seventh through ninth grade kids. Around the same time, I hear back from the two universities I applied to and I got into both of them, USC and Cal Poly. So for money reasons, I end up choosing Cal Poly because it just made more financial sense for my family. And I'll just fast forward to fall 2014, San Luis Obispo, California. It is my first year at an actual four year university studying mechanical engineering. I forgot to mention that I ended up choosing mechanical engineering as my major. And it is in this point in my life where I start sort of kind of deviating from like a very strict try to do engineering stuff kind of life. And I tried to join a fraternity. I just really wanted a party for some reason. I don't, I don't know, man. Just 19 year old kid, stupid. It's so not frat. So I end up pledging during social probation, which makes things very frustrating for me because if you know anything at all about pledging, you know that it sucks. And when it's during social probation, it really, really sucks. So taking crap from people and not really seeing the reward from it, sucked. So it made me a really bad pledge and I made it almost to the last week before getting initiated as like a brother of the fraternity and I just got cut. I saw it coming. I deserved it. I honestly wasn't the best brother. <laughs> Whatever. Did I mention that I switched my major from mechanical engineering to manufacturing engineering? Yeah, so I did that. And the reason why I did it was because 
manufacturing engineering just had like more manageable classes. And that was very convenient for someone that wanted to party on the weekend. Sounds bad, but I'm just being very transparent right here. Okay, so I'm done with my first year of university, down a hundred friends, and I'm also down a lot of money, and I have added zero bullet points to my resume. Not to mention my grades weren't the best. I had like a 2.9 GPA. Obviously, I didn't get any internships that I applied to. I also didn't get any interviews. So I don't want to make this sound like a sad story, but I was feeling pretty bad about myself. So I said, F it, let's spend some more money and go to summer school and let's try to bring this GPA up so that I can come back fall 2015 confident as a mother. And I did, I ended up taking summer classes. I took an English class in the CNC machining class and I came back fall 2015 feeling just a little bit better about myself. So something that I forgot to mention was that during community college, I started becoming a huge fan of Tesla, Apple, SpaceX, Elon Musk, all of this tech related stuff that I wanted to make my career someday. I went into Cal Poly firmly believing that I was going to get a job at either Apple or Tesla. So back again to fall 2015, after an entire year of just goofing off, here I am just like desperate for an internship. I go to the career fair, I go to these other separate career events, and they ended up going to one hosted by the Society of Women Engineers where Tesla happened to be coming to. So I went to the event, I talked to a recruiter, I handed her my resume and nothing really came out of that. It felt like just a regular conversation. Is this it? Was this only like an information session? Like I already knew about Tesla. I really wanted to be there. Something super dope happened the next day where I got an email from this recruiter and she asked, do you want to interview? for an internship at Tesla. To which I replied right away and agreed to interview and I gave her my schedule and we set up a time. The internship position was about manufacturing tests at Tesla, which after reading the description, I assumed was a team that like purchased or designed equipment that was gonna potentially go onto the assembly line and they were just like run tests on this stuff. So I interviewed for this team and they ended up not getting it. And as you can imagine, I was pretty down. But that's not the end of it because my recruiter is super freaking awesome and she hooked it up with another interview on a different team. The dimensional slash metrology engineering team at Tesla in charge of dimensional and metrology engineering. I ended up getting that internship and when I got that internship, I knew that this was going to be life-changing for me because I ended up accomplishing what I set up to do and I know it's just an internship, but remember where I started. So anyway, I take two quarters off to do this internship. It was supposed to be originally just six months, but I ended up loving my team and they, I think liked me too, and they decided to keep me for eight months. And then when I came back to college, fall 2016, they didn't really want to let go, man. They extended my internship and I worked remotely for a total time of a year that just was going to make the rest of my college career so much easier. And man, it was because I just got interviews and interviews and phone calls. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I ended up just going back to Tesla again the next summer, my last summer before my last quarter before graduation. So now I had two different Tesla internships on my resume. Um, two different teams, let me explain. My first team, the team that I did a year internship with, was Dimensional and Metrology Engineering. I was designing metrology and inspection equipment on Katia V5. This metrology and inspection equipment would be manufactured and be used by actual CMM technicians to inspect all these crazy powertrain parts for Model 3. The next internship I do with Tesla, the one that was only a summer long, was with the interior engineering team, specifically craftsmanship engineering. And if you don't know what craftsmanship engineering is, it's basically just being super, super picky about everything with the car. How it sounds, how it feels, how it looks, how it smells, everything. So I'm gonna just straight up be honest, I didn't really enjoy this internship very much, but I didn't enjoy it because it was a bad internship. I didn't enjoy it because I was just not good at it, man. Like I did not have an eye or a, the touch or the sense or the feel for craftsmanship. To me, every Tesla looked cool as shit, so whenever I'd go back to my manager and be like, hey man, I think this Tesla Model 3 looks fine. He would be like, um, no it's not. It looks a bit sh Look at this parting line and look at that material and look at that big gap. It's a bit sh isn't it? And I would just look at him like, dude, I did not notice any of that. <laughs> so that internship didn't make me feel like a bad engineer. It just made me feel like a 
bad craftsmanship person. I thought I had an eye for good looking cars, aesthetic cars, but I guess not. And it's totally fine. Super awesome team, super cool people. I just knew that I wanted to do something else. So all of that aside, it's fall 2017 and it's my last quarter in university and I have no job offers, but I do have two really cool internships on my resume. So I go to the career fair, I go to all of these career events, and I try to network as much as I can. After all of this career stuff, I end up only getting four interviews, Texas Instruments, Fox Racing, Aerospace Corporation XYZ, and Cisco. I forgot about Cisco for some reason. To make a long story short, I only came out with two offers, Fox Racing and Aerospace Corporation XYZ. I ended up not pursuing a full-time opportunity with Tesla because, I don't know, I just wanted to try something different. After an accumulated time of about a year, I ended up getting a little sick of Silicon Valley and all the dudes. So I wanted to try something new and shoot for, I don't know, Southern California. And so as it turns out, Aerospace Corporation XYZ happened to be in Southern California. I graduated December 2017. Did I say that? But yeah, I graduated December 2017 and then I waited a month after my graduation, February 2018, to start my real big boy job out of college, manufacturing engineer for the F35 program. And so what did I do as a manufacturing engineer? Well, I manufactured. Not really, I watched other people try to manufacture as correctly as possible. And this involves a bunch of tooling, work instructions, and various different skill sets. So I did that for about a year and eight months, and then I switched to my new job that I have now as a mechanical test engineer, where I come home and hang out with my wife. So that was my engineering career packaged into a video on YouTube. Um, I don't know why I did this. I guess there's nothing else to do on a Tuesday night for me. I think this is it. I'm done with this video. I'll see you later. Oh,